The SciWeb Photo Editor allows you to enhance your photographs or JPEG image files. From the File Store, I'll click on the photo to go to the Photo Editor. Use of the editor is simple. I just change the values in the controls and press the Show Me button to preview the changes. Unlike many traditional desktop photo editing programs, all editing operations are non-destructive, so if we mess it up or decide to change it later, we can simply select Reset to get our original photo back. Firstly, I should crop my photo. I should crop my margins by clicking on the image. SciWeb will determine which edge I have clicked nearest to, and then move that edge to the point, just like this. I can move the edges out again by clicking in the cropped rectangles. Alternatively, I could have set the margins in pixels by entering the values in these fields. This is the size of the original image, so it helps me to judge what values to set. As a rule, everyone should target for the photo of approximately 200 pixels wide for small illustrations and thumbnails, and 600 pixels wide for larger images. Now I shall enhance the image. I simply change the values by entering new percentages. As with all of these picture controls, small changes will enhance my photo, whilst large changes will give interesting artistic effects. This number changes the saturation of my image in a similar way to the colour control on a television. It's useful for correcting dull or badly scanned pictures. Lowering it to 1% will give a black and white image, whilst raising the numbers will make photos very colourful. Many photos can improve with a change to the contrast. 1% will produce an image with almost no difference between the various levels of brightness and colour. 200% will produce a harsh image with bold differences between the levels of brightness and colour. Now for the quality. The higher I set the quality of the photo, the larger the resultant file size is, thus making it slower for the page to view. A normal quality setting of 75% is a good compromise between file size and image quality, so I'll leave it here. This changes the brightness of the image in a similar way to the brightness control on a television. It simply makes images lighter or darker. 1% will produce a very dark image, almost entirely black, and 200% will produce a very bright image, almost entirely white. Sharpness is a key control, as most photos need to be sharpened a little. I will sharpen this photo to this. You can get a good creative blurred effect by lowering the number below 100. This controls the overall size of photos, with values from 1% to 400%, depending on the size of your original photo. Now I'll select Show Me to look at my photo. As you see here, I don't have to worry if I've scanned a photo in upside down or sideways, as I can also change the orientation using this rotation tool. Of course, I can also edit my photo when I'm in the customised page editor of my web page. I simply select the photo and then select to do a full edit. Remember that you can always revert to the original photo by selecting Reset, so experimentation is a good idea. I will now select the Accept button to store the modified image back to our file store. There are several guides to using your photos on the web. See www.zyworld.com slash quickguides. Have fun!